Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is the get and set collision object type nodes. So we're going to go ahead and look at these two nodes here. We have a get collision object type and a set collision object type. For my example, I'm going to hit play. We have this cube here. You can see it's blocking me. I'm going to fire at it. It falls down, and now I can walk right through it. If I fire it at it again, you'll see it's the ignore player type. So let's see how this works. The get collision object type node takes in a primitive component. In this case, it's going to be the component I hit with my line trace. And it returns back an enumeration of the different object types that we have. Object types are in your project settings. You have your object channels. You have a few by default. If we go into this list right here, you'll see we have all of these as our default. Static, dynamic, pawns, etc. And then we have anything we've defined manually. In this case, ignore player. And you can see I have ignore player right here. I've set up that object type so that way my player will ignore anything that is of that type. When we hit play and we fire, you'll notice this object says world static. If I fire again, you'll notice it says ignore player. We're getting the collision object type. In that case, it's world static the first time through. Then we are setting the collision object type to ignore player. So when I fire it the second time, of course, it's going to be ignore player. Those are the basics of the two nodes. It takes in a primitive component, outputs an enumeration of the type of object, the object channel, or you set the object type using the set node. Keep in mind, if I unhook this node here and we hit play and we fire, it works like we expect, except it's not falling down. The object type, the object channel, is just one part of the collision system. You still have things like simulating physics, Collision enabled, yes or no, and the different types, and the object type itself. So keep that in mind. This just doesn't magically, if you change it to something like pawn, automatically make it act like a pawn. It's just the collision object channel. 